Hey guys, this is Diane here from the Design Curry Creative. Yeah. Bloody hell. Okay, to start this tutorial, what you will need is Beaver Fema installed and a plugin called Clean Login. Once you've done that, head over to Pages and add your pages login and welcome. Next, let's head over to settings and clean login. Immediately you will see we have some options and some short codes which we can use. Now, first of all, let's deal with these options. We wanna hide the admin bar for non-users and we also want to disable the dashboard access if possible. There's also some other um, options here which you can use, you can go through them. I'm just going to keep it really, really simple for now. So I'm just going to do those two and I'm going to do the one here that says registration. So automatically when they log in to the site, they will go to the welcome page. And with they um, log in via the normal login form. So this is for the registration form and this down here is for the login form. So they would go to the same place. And if they go into log out, then they will just go back to the home page. Okay. So I'm also going to click here where it says add name and surname. And again, like I said, there's other options here which you can use, um, but I'm not going to go through them all. You can, of course, have a look yourself and um, adjust them to your project. So I'm going to click here where it says save changes. And now I'm going to make use of these um, short codes. First of all, we'll go to, I'm going to open up a new tab up here and I'm going to go to the login page, but I'm going to go straight into the page builder. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two columns in here like this and I'm going to drag out the text editor. And in this text editor, I am going to add the login shortcode here. And I'm going to add, I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to add the register short code. Let's press save. Okay, let me just make sure I get this out of the box. As you can see, I've included some stuff there which I don't need to. So we have a login and a register box here. And what I can do as well is I can add some text to say, if you, if, oops, if you are not registered, if you are not a member, please use the registration form to the right save let's try to make this a little bit more cleaner and equalize the heights so they're roughly in the same place okay and let me press done now if I look at this page from an incognito window so now you can see we have our login form and our registration form Perfect. Okay, so I'm currently logged into the site and this is what I see. Now, from a user end perspective, this does not look good. I don't need to see this because I'm already logged in. So what do I do? Well, with page with the uh, Beaver Builder, it is super simple to edit the screen, whether you're logged in or logged out. And we could do that by clicking on Page Builder. And if I go to the first, in fact, let me not go to the first, let me just use this whole row. I can click on the spanner. I can go to the advanced setting and I could say, show this to my logged out user. When I press save and when I press done, I now see nothing. Okay, so if I'm logged in, I'm not gonna see anything, that's perfect, but it's still not really user friendly. So we have to direct our logged in users to make sure that they go to the right place. So what we can do is add a text box here, and I'm gonna show you something so cool. 
that. Let me make sure I put it in a completely separate row. Because remember that row is only for the uh, logged in, uh, logged out user. So what I could do here is I could say, hey, I think you're in the wrong place. Why not go to the dashboard? And I can put a link here that will bring them to the welcome page. Oops. Okay. Now here's something really cool what I can do. I can put a space here and I can get this text editor to actually say my name by clicking on this button here, scrolling down to where it says username and I'm going to click this button that says insert. And what it's gonna say is, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna display the name, the first name, the last name, the full name, the nickname, the username, what do you wanna do? And I'm gonna say, I wanna display my first name. Do you want it to link? No. And what user do you want? I want a the current user. So the current user is the current person who is logged in right now viewing me. I want their name to be displayed. So when I click save, and I click save again, watch, this changes to, hey, Diane, I think you're in the wrong place. Now you can't really see that, but that's okay, because I'm gonna press done, publish these changes, and I'm going to edit my profile. So let's click here to edit my profile. I'm gonna put in my name, and I'm gonna just update this now. Now when I refresh here, you could see it says, hey Diane, I think you're in the wrong place. Why not go to the dashboard? Now again, if somebody is logged out, they're going to see this. So I need to make sure that I click on the spanner for this row and make sure that this row is only visible for people who are logged in. Okay, and I can press save, done, publish, bam. Now let's click on the welcome page. Now, this page is only gonna be viewed by people who are logged in. So what we can do here is again, we can have a row. I'm gonna put a one column row in here and I'm going to make sure that this row is only visible for logged in users. Press save. And here you could do if I drag out a text editor, I'm just going to put that right here. If I look back at the login options, I can actually get them people or people who are logged in to edit their profile. So then I can click on text, paste that short code in there and press save. And here you could see it's got the general information here, which we can um, update our own password and username and stuff like that. Again, with the text editor, I can drag this out and I can do a great welcome message like, hey, first name, again, click here, scroll down, insert the name, the current user, uh, let's say the first name, press save, and I can make that like a H2 tag. Um, hope you're well. Here is our special member login PDF. Save, okay? Now you might be thinking, what the hell? But I can actually just put a bunch of stuff in here which is only available for my users, okay? And I could even, if I wanted to be really fancy, add a button and in this button, I could say, username, Diane's special download link, save. Oops, I need a link, so just imagine that's gonna link to a PDF or something. And that is it. I can publish that change and there we go. Now, of course, 
This row is only for people who are logged in. So people who are logged out will not see this. And again, what we can do is we can add a message to the logged out user to say, oh, you're not supposed to be here. You need to register. So let's click on the page builder and let's drag out one more row and add a text editor. And we could say, oh dear, I think you need to log in. And then we could bring them straight to the login page. And then we can press save. Again, this row needs to be visible to the logged out user. So then they're not just faced with a blank screen. Okay. And that's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. If this video has been helpful to you, please share within your community. Like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you possibly can, and I will see you in the next video.